Okay, so Hugh Grant is opening up about his infamous arrest back in 1995. You may remember the actor made headlines after he was caught in a car with a sex worker in LA. At the time, he was dating Elizabeth Hurley. The uh. two even stayed together for five years after the incident. Speaking on a podcast, Hugh said he blamed the indiscretion on his bad performance in the movie Nine Months. Have a listen. That was my first Hollywood film. And I'd just been to see it. The film was about to come out in a yeah. week or two yeah. after that. And I had a bad feeling about it. And I went to see it, a screening. And I, everyone in it was brilliant. But I was so atrocious mm. that I was not in a good frame of mind. I just was uh, disappointed in myself. <laughs> okay, we are all laughing because I feel like, word. I mean, just the, the transparency, right? And of course, what happened between him and Elizabeth Hurley, I can't even imagine what that must have done in their relationship. And it must have been a very dark time. But he's very self-deprecating, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. In the most charming of ways, he puts himself down. He does this brilliantly. I don't think anyone other than Hugh Grant can put himself down like that so charming. Atrocious. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we all look at, at our first projects, right, Jeff? I look back at one of the first shows that I ever hosted, and it was <laughs> atrocious. <laughs> Dude, I looked at last week's show and I almost threw up looking at myself. <laughs> Me too. Me too. You look terrible. I, know, so. I mean, but is that a good excuse? Because we've all been there where we put ourselves out on the line and we've completely bombed. But then do you go and handle it by, you know, hurting your, your loved one? Is this a fair excuse? No. Can I jump in here real Please. quick? Okay, so first of all, have you seen that picture of Elizabeth Hurley that we showed like a couple yeah. weeks ago? Did he mess up? Yeah. She's looking fantastic. <laughs> that aside, yeah, she looks great. But that aside, come on, man. I hate when people are like, uh, they cheat on their wives or whatever it may be, the case may be, and then they're like, I'm a sex addict or my movie was terrible. Get out of here, man. You can't control yourself. That's the problem. Not that your movie was terrible. It's what you, it's your actions and you have to pay for them. Not because your movie was terrible or you're a sex addict or whatever excuse that you're going to make. But sex addiction is different. Yeah, I would separate those two. I yeah. think the sexual addiction is a real, a I, real I, issue. I, I'm with Jeff. I, I think when listen, they go on Oprah and do the interviews. I understand the what interviews. you're saying. I'm sure I'm going to get pushback <laughs> for this, but I don't believe in, uh, I don't believe in sex addiction, uh, sex addiction all the time. I think a lot of people use that as an excuse for what they did. That's just my personal opinion. Fire off some emails if you want. To your point though, Jeff, even though sex addiction is clinically a real diagnosis, it doesn't mean just because you suffer from postpartum depression or sex addiction or alcohol addiction, it doesn't mean that you get a pass. You still have to Very take accountability for yourself. You still have to go into treatment. So to Jeff's point, yeah. if you are suffering from sex addiction or gambling addiction, go get yourself help. That's on you. Take accountability. So I'm with you there, Jeff.